a Parthenon story time about boxes. Today we start our story time with Kenneth Lemoog's A Box Story. Story about a box and its limitless potential. Then we'll end the story still using its model to tell the history of the ancient Greek and Nashvilleian Parthenons. They are all boxes too. A box is not just a box, it can be many things. A box can make you feel small. It can make you feel big. A box can keep you while you work. Or while you sleep. box can take you higher or whisk you to a faraway place. A box can keep your secrets or reveal an unexpected surprise. A box can keep away scary things. box can make you smile. Some boxes are filled with amazing ideas, while others are filled with beautiful memories. A box is not just a box. It can be many things like a building. A building is a kind of box that is made to hold things or people inside and keep out the weather. A long time ago in ancient Greece, there was a place where the people wanted to build something to show that the story of the mythical goddess Athena was important to them. They built their box building and called it the Parthenon. It had columns, steps, and sculptures on the outside, and inside there was a room to keep money and a room for a giant sculpture of Athena. No one could go inside. The door stayed shut, but people could peek inside sometimes. They gathered a lot of money for fighting wars and protecting people. The money was kept inside the treasury room. It was a money box like a bank. Things changed and the building wasn't for the goddess anymore. The doors were open. People could go inside. It became a building that different religions used for their house of worship. The building was also a place for people to keep things, like how we keep things in our closets, garages, and attics. A war happened and big cannonballs were thrown at the Parthenon. The columns were strong and didn't fall down, but the cannonballs fell through the roof and things inside made a big explosion and made the whole Parthenon break apart. The sculptures fell down, the columns fell down, and the roof was gone. Now the box building was a place where people found the pieces of art, the sculptures, the architecture, and the stories they told. Many years later in the city of Nashville, Tennessee, the people wanted to build a box or building that would celebrate the centennial birthday, 100 years, of their state in 1897. The city of Nashville was called the Athens of the South named after the city that built the Parthenon so very long ago. The people said they would build another Parthenon for the celebration. The building was for art. It was on the walls from floor to ceiling. All people were invited to come in and see it. 
The celebration of the centennial ended, the art was put away, and the building was just a box with Parthenon architecture again. The people said they wanted to use the Parthenon always, so it became a museum that has art of architecture, sculptures, pictures, and treasures, and stories for everyone to experience all the time. A box is not just a box. It's something magical. Now it's your turn. What's inside your box?